Hi everyone. So in today's video, we are quickly going to look at an issue in CPQ. And that issue is that uh, we have certain values in the target field of configuration attribute. But those values that we have in target field are not available in error condition uh, records tested field when we try to create a selection product rule. Let's see how it is, what is the issue and how can we solve it? Now I have a product bundle in my org named test product bundle. In that I have two product options, product option one, and product option two. Now I'm going to the quote. I've created this quote already and I'm doing edit line. Now I'll click on add product. I will try to find the test product bundle, select it. So I've created a configuration attribute for shipping city and its values are Mumbai, Surat, Delhi, Ahmedabad. So these are all the cities. Now what I want to do using a selection product rule is that when I select Mumbai, I want to hide product option two. For that, I want to create a selection type of product rule now i'm going here i'm in my i have already created the product rule name test product rule selection the type is selection scope is product event is always i created an error condition let me refresh For now, I've created an error condition with unit price and then accordingly the action is that uh, I need to hide product option 2. What is the error condition? Error condition is supposed to be that if the shipping city is selected as Mumbai, right? So this is a configuration attribute and I am I want that when the configuration attribute value is selected as Mumbai, that time this should get hidden, right? That is our requirement. Now, when I come here and try to create an error condition, I have a field called tested object. So like I said, we are doing it on configuration attribute. So I'll choose configuration attribute here. And in the tested field, right now, I could just see unit price. Whereas if I take you to configuration attribute, and if I go to the target field, there are other values as well, right? That's how you are able to see shipping city over there. We have shipping city, shipping country, right? But in my error condition record, I cannot see shipping city and shipping country. So how to resolve this issue is what we are going to cover in this video. So what you need to do in this condition is you need to go to an object called error condition in the backend, go to fields and relationships, and there you have to search for tested field. Go to the tested field. Here I see the shipping city is not there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to copy the API name. And by the way, this is a field that I've also created in the product option. That's how, let me, let me show you actually. I go to product option. I go to fields and relationships. And there I have a field called shipping city. I took this API name of shipping city came in the configuration attribute and in the target field, I added shipping city. Okay. That is how I'm able to see shipping city over here. Now our issue, like I said, was that in error condition, I'm still not able to see whatever values we have in our this field. Target field of the configuration attribute, right? So that is what we are supposed to fix. So for that, what I did is I went to the error condition object. I went to fields and relationships and in the tested field, I'm adding a new value. 
called shipping city and i'm going to save it just this much wouldn't resolve the problem there is one more step to it when you scroll a little bit up you will see controlling field tested object you just have to click on change and now we have the new field that i added shipping city so for configuration attribute i'm going to add shipping city so now we have two values unit price and shipping city i'll include that value and just save okay upon doing this now i go to error condition refresh the screen and now i can see shipping city save it 